everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays XCOM Enemy Unknown. So we're picking up exactly where we left off. One second though, I want to make sure these guys get loaded out with exactly what they need. So do we want a frag grenade on this guy? Probably. Anyway, the other thing is, we need to make sure these guys actually have names that reflect who they are, so that in combat I actually understand what their roles are without looking at the symbol. So, this guy's a sniper, we're gonna name him, um, we already used Eagle Eye, why did I immediately go for that? What's another one? Um, how about, we're gonna make him Italian, he's gonna be, um... Let's think here, he's gonna be Longio... Acutorio. So, he's actually not Italian. I'm gonna embarrass myself and say that I think that that is... The Dutch flag? I can't remember though. It might be the Russian flag, I have no idea. No, the Russian flag I think goes... I, again, embarrassing myself. Uh, we've got Pinpoint, Snapshot, or Pinpoints, I forget her actual name, Xander Pinpoint, whatever. Florence Nightingale, Jackie Kevorkian, Roll Fizzlebeef, and Squatty Phillips. That doesn't seem right, so she is a support. Do we have any other famous doctor names? Good freaking question. Uh, she has a normal gun, which don't fly with me. Uh, we're gonna give her a, a real good gun. We have to do a target escort here. That's what the mission was. I forgot, because sometimes it's just like, rescue this person. Anyway. So we're gonna get another uh, laser rifle here. Wait, she's, yes, she's a support. So we get a laser rifle going here. Uh, we only have 52 credits left, which is super bad. Um, but anyway. We're gonna deploy here. And yes, launch mission, please. We get 241 credits for this, which is gonna be borderline essential for what we wanna do. Uh, anyway. Laser rifle. Yes, please. Any yeah, need second now. Um, we can still only use the pistol. Uh, frag grenade is okay. We don't need to capture anybody. And she, as a support, should be named after another famous doctor. How about... Um, she can be... Jean... Simmons. They call me Dr. Love. I tried anyway. One of my favorite rock band DLC songs. Anyway, so we've got chitin plating on this guy. We have no heavies. Oh, we have one heavy. We're gonna launch this mission. We've got a very good squad here, despite the fact that we've lost three, uh, well, two somewhat veteran squad mates, and then one reasonably, I think she'd only been on two missions, but she'd been promoted twice, uh, squad mates. Uh, our squad is still, like, our most valuable resource we'll deploying to by far. Like, they're substantially, they've got a lot of experience, they're strong. Uh, I'm playing reasonably well from a tactical standpoint, but I've never done this mission. It seems like a daytime mission, though. It is not the council a daytime believes mission. Dr. Okay. Marizuki's research to be so again, extremely I've never done valuable. This. Uh, it appears, safely to the unfortunately, we have uh, 55,000 rooms here, and Objective it's all going to be update. inside close quarters. May benefit me, may be awful. Not totally sure yet. In the meantime, though, you know what we do? We set up. We go into Overwatch whenever possible. We put Kavorkian up against the wall and hope that she doesn't panic and murder another one of our teammates. Um, so this is our sniper. Should probably put sniper maybe back here. Because we're going to blow through both of these doors at the same time. Not to spoil anything for you. We really want to set up on these doors before we actually go through because uh, I don't just want to like go through and have half of my people be on dashes as we watch people just get massacred left and right. So Gene Simmons, the Doctor of Love, is going to be over here. He can overwatch for now, although I, I doubt anything is going to happen. I have been focused on studying the alien flight paths. In the hopes uh, we're just going to move him exactly over here once he stops talking like a from. big dangus. Thank you. And we'll have him put his head down. Because obviously he is our most valuable asset. Heads up, boys and girls. Intel suggests hostiles are headed so I can't really hear what um, our dude is saying over there. The fact that Thin Men are just popping up out of nowhere bothers me a little bit, though. We're definitely going to have to take some shots on them. Oh, no! Oh, I thought that the Thin Man was going to take a shot uh, on the on the doctor. So that's good. Uh, Kevorkian already proving her merit. I guess we don't have any other Thin Men. Are we ready to go on this this turn? I think we are. Let's, um... Sure, Overwatch with Kevorkian as we pop open this door over here first. No? Um, who's our... There we go. Gonna pop this open, see what we've got here. This is another Enemy sniper. Troops. We've got three Thin Men inside of here. Thin Men don't really bother me. We've already got a reaction shot thanks to Kevorkian. She's just gonna be an ice-cold killer here. And we're gonna get a shot with their sniper too, I believe, unless these guys continue to move. Uh, they are not going to continue to move, so we're going to take the shot. 55, seems like a good option to me. That's going to miss, I think. Nope, that's a beautiful hit, actually. And it actually critted as well. Awesome. So we've got one thin man left. Uh, we're just going to pop open this door now. 
in the hopes that maybe we can get behind him and flank him. Although it might be impossible here. Let's see. Oh, she does have a shot. Beautiful. 45% chance to hit. That's worth taking in my books. That's a miss, but now that the cover's gone, uh, we should be able to just move our other teammate out over here. Roll Fizzle Beat. And if we move him, like, over here, I'm assuming that he's going to have a fairly good shot. If not, we could just toss a grenade. We don't really have to sweat weapon fragments anymore, I think. Beautiful. Okay, so the three Thin Men are dead. We've already killed four aliens. Good start for us. We're obviously just going to dash uh, our doctor over here. Where he should not find himself in too terrible of a position. And Florence Nightingale, why don't we just move her over here? And it's very important, I think, to have her on Overwatch. Just in case an enemy comes from behind us. And maybe the same thing with... Uh, oh, Black Widow won't be able to use uh, Overwatch now. So we'll just move her over here, I guess. So that hopefully she'll have vision on the next turn. If we come across some more aliens out there. Yeah, we should be reasonably patient here. I think we've got some more Thin Men that just dropped up. Yep, uh, but that's okay. Easy enemies. They are on Overwatch, though, which is a pain in the ass, but there's not much we can do about that. So first thing first, I think we're going to take um, Gene Simmons' Dr. Love here. We're going to open up this door just to make sure there's nothing crazy going on in here. There is a door to the outside, I find which I like. We're just going to tell this guy to maybe get to over here, undertake this invasion. if I can get him to shut up. Resources Dr. Marazuki. Um, yeah, we're just going to put you like right here, head down, because there might be some combat coming in a second. Uh, roll Fizzle Beef, we're just gonna put up against the wall here. And again, the hope is that, uh, on the next turn we'll, we'll be able to pop out and do some damage there. Now, we have Black Widow, we're gonna move just... To, none of these are great positions, we'll just put her into Overwatch for now. The question is whether we want to move these guys out, because we might get hit by the Overwatch from the, the Black, or, um... It's a sniper. Um, the Overwatch from the, uh, the Reloaded. Thin so in this case, we should probably move everybody out, just so that we have as much Overwatch as possible. Because if it's going to be mostly Thin Man, that's not a problem for us, as we are uh, able to kill Thin Man in one hit with alarming regularity here. So we've got two more Thin Man over here. We do have good Overwatches. We might actually get, get to use one now. Come on, Florence Nightingale, you got this. That's a miss. Oh well, though. Still pretty good. And we run the risk of, of being poisoned here. But that's not the end of the world. We actually are going to overwatch, I feel, on this one. And this could be interesting. We've got two Thin Men now. This one's going to make a move. Uh, the Sniper should have a shot, maybe. I thought this, the Sniper's on overwatch. I thought she would have a shot in this position, but I guess not. That's okay, though. She'll have a shot next turn for sure. Now, we've overwatched here, so let's see if these guys make a move or just go for the poison attack. Oh, they're actually going to get a hit. Again, four critical hit is not so bad, so I don't sweat that too much. Um... See what kind of shot we've got here. 70% chance to hit. I'll take that any day of the week. Let's destroy that thin man. Next turn we'll probably heal up a little bit. Uh, this guy's got a shot too. The 42% chance to hit. What does our sniper have though? 44? Really? That's it? Well, we're gonna get roll fizzle beef out here actually. And by him moving just over here maybe, hopefully he doesn't get flanked and he's gonna flank this enemy easily. 90% chance to hit. <clears throat> Easy decision in my books. This might actually be an easy mission to compensate for the diff relatively difficult ones we've had so far. I'm just going to move my sniper out here. Where is our Sky Ranger anyway? That's a fair distance away. Hunker down with this guy. Um, Dr. Love, Gene Simmons. We're just going to dash out here. She doesn't have a medkit. Why didn't I put a, another medkit on that support? That's a really good question, actually. We, do, we already have two supports who have really good medkit usage in their own right, but still... You never have too many. So I think this turn we'll actually have Kevorkian uh, just reload. And Black Widow, we can maybe move out beside Kevorkian. And then next turn we'll be able to get everybody that got hurt healed up. We probably could have just taken the door there. I'm just trying to watch out for you. Now we do have another Thin Man, of course. We th I thought we had an Overwatch over here from someone, though. Maybe not. Oh, that's a lucky miss. Usually Thin Men are more accurate than that. But anyway, everyone should be able to heal up on this turn at least. Let's take, give our sniper a shot here. 64% chance to hit. That's going to be a kill. And Bob's your uncle. Everybody's happy. Everyone's going to get healed on this turn. So we're just going to basically take a take a turn, maybe two turns actually, to get uh, everyone sorted out here. So we're going to medkit Florence Nightingale. Uh, remember that I believe Florence Nightingale is our colonel now, so she has the opportunity to, or her medkits do, 
for his medkits too, I guess. Um, way more damage, or way more healing than, uh, than an average medkit. And we gotta put some people on Overwatch here, but we also need to get everyone reloaded if they need it. So we can sniper on Overwatch. Yeah, you know what, she could use a reload, why not? And we'll just keep Marizuki's head down. I love these missions now as you get into the late game with all uh, Thin Men Insectoids. Probably shouldn't count my chickens before they hatch, but that's how this mission's looking so far. Oh, we got two vision. Okay, so we can see two thin men here. The real question is what's gonna happen once we get to that Sky Ranger? Are we gonna oh come on. This guy should join the NBA. Um Are we going to Bad miss. Uh, have to come back and kinda clean up the scraps for all these aliens that we've we've kinda left so far, if we have left any. We got a laser sniper rifle, which should give us I wanna definitely hit the guy on the roof if possible. And you know what? I'll take that. Uh, the fact that we missed the one on the ground is kind of a pain in the ass. We might get poisoned on the next turn, but can't complain too hard. We're in a very good situation here. Dr. Love's going to probably have a shot at this one with 50% chance to hit. Coin flip worked out in our favor, it appears. Down. And recall, we get a lot of credits for finishing this mission as well, which is awesome. I think um, Marizuki, we're just going to move over here and then tell him to keep his head down again. Because if he gets shot once, that's the end of our mission here. So we've got to be very cautious with him. We're gonna dash Kevorkian up, just to here, and then on the next turn, Kevorkian can overwatch uh, closer to that Sky Ranger, and maybe give us a little bit more peace of mind. So we will send our sniper up. We might as well dash with the sniper as well, because one move as the sniper effectually, effectively uh, counts as a dash anyway, because she can't take a turn after that. Uh, roll Fizzleby. We're just gonna keep here. The reason I do this is in case some uh, thin man come from behind or something. He might be able to kill them on the Overwatch, and then we won't have to worry about our doctor getting killed here. Alright, so let's make some moves forward. Those are going to require dashes. Just make a move forward with Kevorkian. See if anything's behind over here. It doesn't appear so, so we'll Overwatch. Uh, this is our sniper, so again, a dash is basically warranted because there's nothing uh, beneficial about not dashing. Now we do have vision on somebody there. Oh, uh, we do have one thin man all the way over here. So in knowing that, uh, we should probably just get close and set up a bunch of overwatches uh, that will hopefully be able to kind of like crisscross and save us here. Well, not save us because we're doing fine, but you know, help us out a little bit. So I think Florence Nightingale, the best we can do is maybe put her up here. And from this position, well, we'll actually reload with her. It's chilling time. Whatever. Uh, we'll send Roll Fizzle Beef dashing over here, and I think Marazuki can just hang out behind that truck until we get everything cleared out. And this should be a reasonably good position for our sniper, who sadly does not have an opportunity to enter Overwatch, so we might as well just have to reload this turn. So head down, ass up. That's the way we like to do escort missions. Doesn't our one player have an attack here? No, I guess she does not anymore. Um, that thin man must have moved. Well, in the meantime, let's send uh, Kevorkian up here. Hopefully that alien is not overwatching. It it's not, here. and actually there's two of them, that's, that's okay. If they move towards us, which they sort of appear to be doing, uh, our sniper should have a shot now. So I am less concerned than I used to be, actually. 77, 67, let's go for the one in the, uh, yeah, the top. This is shaping up to be a very easy mission so far. And we'll take our sniper, 64% chance, that's gonna be a hit apparently. And in knowing that, uh, I think that's probably going to be most or all of the aliens killed on this mission. And this has proved to be a very easy one so far. I mean, obviously, you got to do what you got to do, right? Like, you're not just going to expect this scientist to blow up eight thin men on his way out, but... Still, it kind of feels like a waste of XCOM resources, considering I just took down a fucking alien base on Earth. 25 aliens. Only lost two of my own crew members. I thought that was pretty darn good. We might actually be able to dash um, up. Uh, I should probably put some people on Overwatch just in case here. But, um, what was I going to say? We might be able to dash this dude, this doctor man, to the exits. No, we can't quite get there. We probably, oh my god, why would you kick down the door? Just go the way we've already cleared you, old fool. Anyway, Florence Nightingale's going to get up here. Pox, by the way, great name. For a Florence Nightingale character. Uh, we're just gonna get everybody set up here. We've got him flanked by supports, basically. And then we'll put, uh, is this roll? No, this is the sniper. 
She's not even in position. She's not even behind cover. That's okay. We'll just have her reload. Just creating a wall of human, basically, to deter any aliens. We'll overwatch him. Roll Fizzlebeef hasn't really done anything this mission, which is fine. I mean, I haven't required him to do anything. That being said, the other side of the door was open, Longio. Longio Accutorio. The new protagonist of Assassin's Creed 4, set in the near future. The assassin is a sniper is in the U.S. military. Oh, come on. Really? I mean, thankfully went into Overwatch, otherwise we could have just gotten shot immediately, but... Uh, yeah, we have enough people here that we should be able to kill the Thin Man right away. So now that he is dead, uh, it should be our turn. Marazuki, who is who we're going to go with next, should just be able to run out here to the Sky Ranger. And if all the Thin Men are dead, that should be the end Thank of this mission. That was awesome. Really easy, I actually. Hope my <clears throat> so let's see what we get uh, as a result of that. We get a lot of credits again, which is very important, so we can buy new equipment and stuff like that because we were quite low. Uh, Borkian has been promoted to Major, confers an additional item slot in inventory. Did. Beautiful. So we can actually give her some chitin plating if we want to. The problem is chitin plating is super expensive. Panic reduction is big. Uh, scientist is good, and uh, 241 credits, Remember, obviously, can't complain about that. So what's going on in our situation watching. room right now? Nobody's pissed. I like that. What's going on in our engineering bay? Uh, in our facilities, we have a hyperwave relay being built. Do we need to build a satellite uplink? Why would I build the hyperwave relay here? That's gonna, uh, I guess I can build satellite uplinks here, that's fine. Um, do I even need satellite uplinks at this point? We have satellites in almost all of the countries. Panic worldwide. There's only one country at two. This is beautiful. Um, what the heck was I going to say? So we should probably, I guess, might as well launch satellites in Canada and Mexico just for the, and Brazil just for the bonuses. Do we not, okay, we do have one satellite being built. But in order to do that, do we need an uplink satellite facility uplink to be built? That was foolish on my part. I should have had that uplink facility being Additional built a long time ago. Um, but we'll put that here. In construction, and I can't build a psionics lab yet. I need a few more credits, which I probably cannot get by selling on the gray market, I believe. Nah, I don't really have anything that's damaged, so why bother? We'll just wait it out. We're doing fine without it for now. Uh, we have some alien reduction command. Toronto and Mexico. Uh, we're gonna go with Toronto. I'll take the extra scientists. The mission is difficult as opposed to very difficult, which is preferable for me. Now, here's the question. I have... Do I have squat? I do have Squatty Simmons again. Uh, we want to give her a med kit because there's no reason for her not to have one and have a. Oh, we don't have a med kit manufactured. That's a good reason. What if we clear her and actually take like an, an assault unit or something? Um, David. So what was she? She was Gene Simmons, uh, Squatty. Do we have anybody above Squatty? Well, we do, and he's injured. Let's take an assault. We'll take Eliza Malka here, who we might be able to give carapace armor. No, we have to build buy more carapace armor. Gosh darn it, um... Okay, well you know what, we'll go with Squatty Stevens again. I know we should go with this lady, shouldn't we? The way we have to do this though is we have to go back to briefing quickly. Barracks, view soldiers, um, who is the one we just took off? Gene Simmons, Dr. Love, of course. So we're gonna give her just standard body armor. We might have to build another scatter laser as well. I'm not sure though. Let's go back to our mission control. Alien abductions, Toronto, Canada. Place I have been too many times, as you might expect, being a Canadian from Ontario. Uh, obviously, she's gonna have running gun, which is a nice little upgrade. And do we need to build another scatter laser? No. Awesome. Uh, do we want to give her anything else? Probably not. Everything's good here. Beautiful. So let's just. Uh, oh, no carapace armor. Why does she not have carapace armor? Also, she needs a good name for an assault. I'm thinking maybe. Um, what have we not used? Arnold. Dina Stallone. So it's like the feminine version of Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone. Arnoldina Stallone is going to be in our assaults joining us on this mission. Everybody is decked out with uh, laser weapons, which is great. Let's launch. As this mission is only difficult and not very difficult, I don't expect too heavy of resistance. Um, maybe like one or two groups of Chrysalis and Mutons. Floaters, hopefully no cyber discs because those are a total pain in the Touching dick hole. Down. But uh, we'll we'll see basically as we as we get down here. The drop site. What if we're gonna go to the CN Tower? So sweep the abduction site, identify threats, and neutralize all hostile targets. Maybe I will. Area. Why don't you get off my case, Dad? I don't want to go to college. I want to be a YouTube Let's Player like Northern Lion. So landing down in Toronto here. I think I can see my house from here. Central. 
actually been the lead tomorrow. We've seen this map several times. And there's A OK okay by me. So we're just gonna, uh, again, my, my cautious approach is serving us pretty well so far. Uh, we haven't lost too many guys. I mean, we are playing on normal as opposed to a more potentially traditional x -commy level of difficulty. But I'm doing what I can here. I really need to get this lady promoted. We might even use a battle scanner on this turn just to mix things up a little bit. Uh, but I need to get her promoted so that she can move and shoot in the same turn. Otherwise, basically she is like some kind of artillery. Oh, shit. Okay. But we now have a lot of vision. <laughs> Which is important, but also scary as hell. The good thing is, I don't think they see me. So if I just dash maybe like over here with my uh, heavy roll fizzle beef, next turn he might be able to get dope shredder rocket in or something. Who's this? Akitorio is a sniper. To be an effective sniper, we might want to put him like over here. So again, yes, we've got a lot of mutons coming in this situation. Hunker down. We have like no overwatching, which is awesome, you know? Who needs overwatching anyway? I don't know where we should put this guy, to be honest with you. Maybe, like, over here and overwatched. He's not gonna have... I don't think they have vision of us, but we'll see as soon as this turn ends if they react to that battle scanner that we threw out there. That is... Oh, fuck. Oh, that's a lot of mutons. Difficult as opposed to very difficult, my ass. The good news is, they all seem to be moving sort of in clumps. So if we get a nice reaction... Or if we get a nice, um... Rockets with roll fizzle beef. That'll be good. Is that a cyber disc in there? I can't really see what's going on in that room. One thing's for sure, we got oh my god, we got a lot of overwatches here actually. These should not hit. I don't even know what happened there. Looks like I shot directly into that gas tank, which is probably bad for me. Um yeah, we got a lot of a lot of nasties here. First things first, we know that our snipers have to take shots. So we're gonna drop one on this muton here. It's gonna be a miss. Uh, this is terrible. How about our other sniper? Where is he at? Just a little bit. There we go. He's got another shot. 45. We gotta take it. It's not quite 50, but it's worth taking nonetheless. That's a hit. That's good. Didn't intimidate him though, which is concerning, I guess. Now with Stallone, we probably want to just take the. No, that's not gonna do it. Um, with somebody, we want to take that final shot. 60% on this muton just to get him killed. Yeah, good. Did not miss. Because we want to maintain this relatively well-defended position, if possible. Now, how about this one? We've got 35 on this guy, but we could suppress him, which is probably what's going to be best for us. So let's just activate suppression on him. If we can keep him from moving, that's beautiful. Uh, now, I can't see what's inside there. Is that a cyber disc? It is a cyber disc. So what we're not going to do is use a rocket this time. Are you serious? That heavy laser is not even close to hitting. Um... Yeah, we're not going to use a rocket this time. We're going to wait for next turn, and I should be able to drop a fat rocket in here and get some good stuff done, because I think right now this will just put me outside of the cyber disc. So we'll just wait. We might even take a 21% chance shot, but I think Overwatch is maybe in our best interest. And we do still have Stallone here. He's got a 1% chance to hit. What we're going to do is actually just move him out here so that he's not too close to anybody else. Sadly, he's not going to have another shot, but we'll just put him into Overwatch. And he's not near that exploding car either, so he's probably not going to blow up here. This should be interesting, though. This is a very difficult mission. We've got some pretty tough enemies coming for us. And the Cyber Disc, I don't think, sees us. So we might be able to get some good shots with our uh, snipers here. Although, you know, good shots, I guess, is relative, because we've been having some pretty terrible ones so far. Let's move our sniper over here. Yes, he does have a shot now. We can't take it this turn. So we'll just reload. Uh, we won't do anything about this yet. Now here's the shot. We got one with a 34% chance. I don't think those other mutons actually see us. So I'm, I'm happy about that, but also a little bit concerned about how this is going to go. We still only have 20. Okay, let's, let's think about this reasonably. I don't want to move this guy up here yet in case it alarms those other mutons. So I think we're going to take our sniper shot here and hope for the best. Oh my god. I love you, Black Widow. I've forgotten your actual name now. So Pinpoint has earned a promotion, that's great. Uh, we're gonna have these guys reload and overwatch as is necessary. This is definitely uh, warranted reload. That's certainly warranted Ready reload as well. Okay, good move so far. Now we're just waiting for some people to run out maybe. Like the Cyber Disc runs out, the drone runs out, more mutons come what from the time. ceiling, who knows. 
That shotgun is gonna miss. Yeah, that was probably like a 1% chance. Should probably put him on Overwatch with the pistol, but I'm concerned about people getting, you know, too close here. And basically, we're just gonna hang back and, and let our snipers do whatever they can. This Overwatch might turn out effective. That's a miss. Well, at least it's destroying some walls, which is gonna take some cover away from these aliens. And we might be in good Shredder Rocket territory now. But we'll see what the Cyber Disc... Cyber Disc does nothing, so I don't think it sees us. And again, we're just gonna keep relying on our snipers here. Uh, to, to do some serious damage to these mutons. It's a good hit. And in doing so, this opens up a lot of options for us, because now I do not have to use a rocket uh, to take that one out. 60% chance to kill this guy right here. We'll take that. Florence Nightingale racking up the kills. Now we do have a shot with Kevorkian as well. 35 is not great. What else do we have here? 1% chance to hit. That's, you know, substantially worse, as you might expect. Maybe we'll just reload with this guy right now. Um, Kevorkian's got a shot. Acutorio does not have a shot. What if we move him out here a little bit? He will have a shot next turn. Okay, that's good. So, hunker down. Uh, Kevorkian, we might just use Suppression. And Roll Fizzle Beef, we might just reload. So, let's oh, reload yeah. and use Suppression on this remaining Muton so that he is not going to have a good shot. Again, we just want to simplify... Oh, man, he has no cover now, either. We just want to simplify things so that once we have to deal with that Cyber Disc, we're just dealing with that cyber disc. Now, these, those guys still don't see us, I guess. That drone might get vision of us now, which is going to give the cyber disc vision. But depending on where the cyber disc lands, this could be beautiful rocket territory. It all depends on whether it moves after this, though. Or if it, oh, where the heck did it go? Okay. Well, here's the, the moment of truth. Let's see if we can get a, a nice rocket in here. That's going to make everybody happy. Um, well, we need to hit the cyber disc. We know that for a fact. I think we are within the realm of the cyber disc here. In the realm of the cyber disc. Okay, well we did do damage to the cyber disc. We hit the muton. We killed the drone. That's a nice hit. Uh, Akitorio has a shot. 44%, 45%. We're gonna wait on that for a second. How about Black Widow? She's been great for us so far. 54 on the cyber disc, 54 on the muton. We're gonna take the cyber disc. Uh, we're gonna go for the critical. Oh, we don't have any chance of a critical hit. But well, we're gonna go for the cyber disc nonetheless. Come on, don't fuck around here. I still love you, but I wish you hadn't done that. Um, again, 0% chance of critical. Don't fuck this up. Oh, that's good. That's a good hit. Now if we just get um, our assault to actually get this hit, 48. I wonder if we get a little closer if that won't become uh, better for us. Ooh, okay, so now we've alerted those other mutons. So I probably... I forgot about that Overwatch, too. Probably should have just stuck with the status quo. We're in pretty good danger of losing Arnoldina Stallone here. But, you know. She always knew this was a one-way trip. And if... What? How did that miss? We all cl quite clearly saw it hit. Um, we need to kill the Cyber Disc. Do we have a shot on the Cyber Disc? With this oh my god. We, we need to kill the Cyber Disc. I cannot stress this enough. The Mutons are going to be a problem. I cannot deny that. However, the cyber disc must die. Oh my god. You have failed me for the last time. If the cyber disc doesn't die, we have substantial problems. So you know what? We're actually going to kind of go for broke here. We're going to put ourselves in a position where grenades could kind of flay us. 63, don't let me down here. You're all dead to me. You all deserve what you're going to get here. Good news is, maybe next turn, Shredder Rocket can tear some ass. But yes, Arnoldina is going to be critically wounded. I'll try to save her. No promises, though. Uh, I can't believe that we missed, like, four shots in a row on that fucking Cyber Disc. Again, Shredder Rocket might be a viability here. We'll see. That Blood Call... It all depends on where these guys move again. Are you going for Roll Fizzle Beef? Don't you fucking dare. It's discovered me. Roll, you can live! Jeez, took it right on the chin. Roll Fizzle Beef is gonna absolutely destroy that Cyber Disc next turn. Because Roll doesn't miss. And these colors don't run. And other various slogans that I could throw out right here. But again, we're in a not so great situation. Prod predominantly because we missed. Here's what I want to do. I want to take our sniper. And I want to hit the Cyber Disc. Oh shit, her ammo, her weapon's out of ammo. Alright, so we're just gonna shoot at the Cyber Disc. 89. Told you, roll fizzle beef doesn't fuck around. Cyberdisc dead. 
problem starting to be a little bit less problematic. He's got another shot. Why not uh, kill this other Muton as well? Actually, he could throw a grenade and kill this Muton too. Yes, please do. And with this Muton being killed, we are only going to have two more to deal with. Which increases the chances that potentially we're going to get out of this without being killed. Now, here's the headshot. 43. 50% chance of critical. <laughs> we almost, like, I think we have to get further away to increase our chances there. So we've got this guy with the laser rifle. He can suppress this guy, but he's got a 75% chance of hit. Um, we have to reload. There's no, there's no situation where that doesn't exist. We might as well take our critical chance here. Maybe we'll get lucky. That is huge. The intimidation factor might keep it away. Of course, it always gets a turn to move after you shoot it, but since it's intimidated, maybe it runs away directly towards our sniper. Just like I said, um, Florence Nightingale, you're right here. 90% uh, chance to hit. I think we're just going to take the shot on you here. It's going to do six more damage. Everyone's in a pretty high-risk situation here, uh, and that's concerning. Again, I apologize for the frame rate. It's something that maybe like my antivirus popped up as I was recording this. So she might still die on this turn. Uh, Kevorkian, I mean. I hope not, because she's one of our most valuable crew members. Oh, shit! Is he dead, or just panicked, or hurt? I don't think- I didn't see a message that anyone was killed. But someone did just get smacked in the damn face. Stallone is still alive, but is gonna bleed out reasonably soon. What's going on over here? So yeah, this guy got hit, but he- or Florence Nightingale got hit, but she's still fine. Uh, we're gonna 100% shoot this dude in the fucking face. And we're gonna try to not use- Oh, come on. Just get out of here, Berserker. Uh, we don't want to use Kevorkian to take the shot. Instead, we would like to use basically anybody else. Akitorio, I mean... With, are you at dental? He's down to four half. Shit. Maybe we will have to use Kevorkian to take the shot. Although, Fizzlebeef might have a good uh, opportunity as well. We'll just move him over here. He's been our, our clutch go-to guy. 68%. That might be a miss. Shit. Now we find ourselves in a somewhat riskier situation. What's our sniper got here? 51. Just fucking take it, man. There we go. End his life. We still have a mute on left. And that's obviously a problem, but what we want to do with um, this guy now... We can just have him overwatch for now in case that Muton tries anything. We're going to send Kevorkian over here. And then he'll stabilize uh, Arnoldina Stallone here. So that this unit is not going to die. Although Kevorkian may actually die, but hey, that's what being a medic is all about, right? Sacrificing yourself for the good of others. In any case, certainly people are going to be wounded after this mission is done. But if that's the last remaining Muton, then the mission is going to finish without any casualties in all hopefulness, so... Oh, that's not good. Well, luckily, nobody took any extra damage there, which is kind of surprising. Uh, how are we going to do this? I'm thinking... We go here. We heal... this guy. And hopefully that Muton doesn't throw a grenade. <laughs> then, um, Kevorkian goes... here... We should at least provide cover in the form of one of our own units, uh, and heals Florence Nightingale, who is our more valuable support. This? Oh, it's gonna hurt. Okay. So that situation is, is resolved now. Uh, we move our sniper out to here, maybe, and then on the next turn, uh, she can overwatch and possibly get a good shot on this guy. Roll Fizzlebeef, of course, is gonna be our go-to. Uh, we're gonna move him over here. And on the next turn, he might be able to sneak a Shredder Rocket inside, although it might be a long shot at this point. Uh, and we still got this guy, who actually does have a shot. 25, I think, is almost worth taking. It's a very low percentage shot, but... Wow. Actually hit him, and uh, now, on the next turn, we'll see what he does. I mean, he didn't get intimidated. He's gonna bust out of here, I guess. He'll probably take a shot at somebody, unless he can throw a good grenade in there. Again, did a lot of damage to that sniper, but that's okay. We only need to get one more hit on him, I think. Why not let this guy finish the job if he's got a good chance? No way he hits two 25s in a row, but... You know, I thought I might as well give him first crack at it. And now that he's destroyed the wall that the dude is hiding behind... 
We, oh, we've got to reload. Please tell me not everybody has to reload. We should be able to get uh, an easy kill here, maybe with the Black Widow. That's going to be a miss. I can't believe it. Destroying the shit out of this gas station, though. Sorry, Petrocan. Uh, what do you have here? 34? Tell you what we're going to do. Just drop a fat fucking grenade here. And hopefully end this dude's life and uh, avoid losing anybody on this mission because this has been fairly difficult. Yeah, we didn't lose anybody and we got eight kills. Big plays, I would say. And we'll see what we've got when we go back. We've got to be getting another council report soon. And I can't imagine that they would be anything but thrilled with the progress that uh, the XCOM project is making right now. So yes, a lot of people wounded, some gravely, but we have a really good and really deep squad. Um, did I? Oh, I did... That's the problem. I went with squad sight instead of snapshot on uh, laser pinpoint. Uh, eliminates the aim penalty on reaction shots and allows... Well, that's not as good for her. So we'll just take Executioner. Because she very rarely overwatches due to the setup that I've got her on. Fizzle Beef is up to Major, which is good. Uh, Akitorio is going to get... We're going to give him the one where he can move and shoot at the same turn. And beautiful. That mission is done. Got a lot of good stuff. Nothing's damaged, I guess. we got four scientists... We will be in and touch I think that's going to do it for this episode. But again, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. XCOM Project going very, very well so far, with the exception of China, the United Kingdom, and Argentina. Every country below yellow in terms of uh, in terms of their damage or in terms of their panic. So that's great, and we've got a really deep squad. So I'm excited for how this is going. But again, as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.